This is a last scanner. A shoe last is the form of a shoe is made on. And uh, we're using a stepper motor here to rotate the last. And up here we have a carriage that moves along a screw. That's controlled by another stepper motor right here. This feeler arm here is causes this arm to move up here, which turns a rotary encoder. Let's see encoder here, and everything is connected to an Arduino with a uh, motor party board and it gets pretty hot so there's a couple of fans here to cool the board and a fan down here to cool this motor which also gets pretty hot so I have uh, polar coordinates with the x-axis running side to side and the polar axis this way and the z-axis moving in and out with my little feel right here. You can see some detail of the, the carriage here. Attached to two fixed rods here and here, and this rod in the center, the screw rod, which is not firmly attached but only loosely attached by rubber bands because it wobbles a bit and that causes trouble. Okay, so this is all controlled by the program here. You can see the numbers coming in, X, Y, and Z basically, and a few controls for moving the sensors around or testing and processing data and such. And so this is uh, Windows PC connected to the Arduino by USB and communicating by serial communications. So after running the scan I've got a point cloud which I then was able to put into Mesh Lab and get an image like this. And from Mesh Lab turned it into an STL and brought it into Rhino 3D to get a, a, a mesh file here. Um, still have some problems with calibration, but it basically works and uh, we'll be improving the calibration over time.